And of course, California continues to struggle with the opposite problem, a drought that's lasted four years. The governor is threatening to fine cities and private water companies $10,000 a day if they fail to meet strict water conservation targets. And as Jackson Prosco reports, people are now finding creative and long-term ways to save water. In LA's manicured suburbs. Pretty good so far. The only thing growing is the business of painting parched lawns green. Every time the governor makes another restriction, the phone starts ringing again. Four years into the staggering drought, Californians are trying everything to beat back the desiccation, even embracing unusual sources of water. With the state ordering water use cut by 25%, this Orange County sewage treatment plant is now ramping up production of drinking water. It's the cleanest water that we have in the state of California. Despite the ick factor, they take what goes down the toilet, filter it, and create fresh water that comes out of the tap, 400 million liters of it every day. Now we're able to provide enough water for nearly 850,000 people a year. Desperation breeds change. And in backyards across the state... This was the 1950s American dream. The dream of a pool is now a luxury some are willing to part with. More and more Californians are hiring companies to fill in their swimming pools. We used to only do maybe one pool a year in the last 20 years, and then eventually got up to where we are at now, about two pools a week for the past uh, year and a half, two years. The state's 1.2 million backyard pools hold an estimated 56 trillion liters of water. Now so many people are filling them in, the pool industry has come up with a marketing campaign claiming pools save water. Together, we can pool together to save water. With reservoirs down to their last year of supply and agriculture facing massive losses, none of these measures will solve California's drought. Only rain, and a lot of it, will keep the state from drowning in dryness. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.